Okay, now we're headed across the country, because when I think Christmas, I think Southern California? Mr. Kringle here in Escondido, California. It is old Spanish, meaning the house that burnt down the power lines. Hey, we've seen a lot of fancy light displays, but I'm betting that this one... Oh, okay, who melted the power? Maybe we should talk to Keith. You melted the power lines? Yeah, we did. We had a uh, separate electrical service put in just to handle the Christmas lights. Keith has been decorating large for 11 years. And what does he have to show for it? Well, take a look at this. Woo, that's definitely a what's with that decked out Christmas house. Well, like the sign says, tis the season. How big is that sign? It's 32 feet long. 32 feet long. All made out of particle board, individually set lights in there. Where do you keep a 32 foot long sign? Oh, I read a storage area. Sounds like someone has size issues. What started it all? Well, there was a neighbor across the street put up a couple strings of light, so we put up a couple strings of lights, and then he put up a few more, and we put up a few more, and it went from there. It's keeping up with the Kringles. Eventually, they moved. Did they really? They did. <laughs> we can't take the lights. Do you think that he has too many lights or a perfect amount of lights? I think it's a little squished. You think it's a little squished? Yeah, it's just really full. It's really full, but squishy? Ah, squishy lights. They're my favorite, but Keith is more than just a money pit to the electric company. He's also competing with nature. He's got window displays that block out the sun. That's our living room. In the back of that is just a big piece of plywood? Yes, it is. It's, uh, it gets pretty dark in there, and actually all the windows are all blocked off, so the whole downstairs of the house is pretty dark in, uh, There's in no, December. There's no natural light coming through the windows? No, no, they're all blocked off. Are they all wired together? Oh, no, they're all individual, just moving people. No. Wait, you don't go down to the store and get one of those little guys, do you? The individual people you do, sure. No. I mean, is it weird that you just get used to, like, not being able to see out of your home? I didn't, until you said there's no light coming through, I never realized it. Yeah. Yeah, we, we try to beef it up just a little bit. But there's no way of competing with Keith. Absolutely I mean, he's over not. the top. <laughs> over the top? Two bows on a Christmas present is over the top. Keith, he's got Christmas fever. We went from 50,000 to about 55,000, and then one year we jumped up to 62,000 lights. And I came out here right after we turned them on, and all of a sudden everything was pulsating. We saw some sparks in the tree and melted the overhead power lines. We had You're to call kidding. We called 911, fire department was out here. Truth is, Keith melted the lines three times that day. Eventually the power company came down and rewired all the way down the street to the transformer. You called the... provide you with as much power as you need. What? Come on, that can't be true. I'm gonna take this matter all the way to the top. Thank you very much, Your Honor. What a treat this is. I did not know this as trivia, but if somebody uses that much power, the, the electric company comes out and just makes bigger lines. Well, you have to respond to the demand and supply, so if you need more energy, then they'll be happy to build you a bigger line so they can send you a bigger bit. All right, if you're gonna have a zillion lights, at least stick to the rule of three. Don't go plugging in plug-ins until all the plugs are plugged. Keep three to a plug, you know, to avoid a neighborhood electrical meltdown. Your meter must spin where you could probably use it like a bandsaw. Like Does it just <laughs> It's screaming. What do you think from December 1st to, what is January 1st you run it? January 1st. One right. month. What's it cost you? More than November. He's a slippery one. I guess we could summarize it. It costs about 50 cents a minute probably to run it. OK, so like the whole month, uh, 500 bucks? A little more. 1,000? A little more. <laughs> so that's why you don't want to talk about it. Yeah, leave that alone. But it's not just the money he gives. It's also time. When do you start putting up the display? Uh, October 1st. Thank December 1st. And when he says he worked on it, he means it. This is a one-man Christmas band. Flashlight, right? Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. When do you sort of warm up for the next year? About the midsummer, I start thinking about next year. <sighs> well, the power's ready, the neighborhood's ready, and Keith's family's ready. You have to appreciate what he does. I mean, from you know October 1st to December 1st, every waking minute he's not at work, he's doing this, you know? That's because you won't help. That's right. <laughs> I'll tell you who really appreciates Keith, the Escondido Power Company. Last year, they sent him a thank you card.